so it's a confession time. I stink at this. My name is Renee Arnston and I'm into health and fitness, but in a real down to earth sort of way. I'm not into fads, I'm not into diets, I'm just into making life easier for you and hoping you can get some results from some of these tips. And one of them today is something that I'm terrible at. And I know you're thinking, oh, yeah, right. No, seriously, and it's this, it's water. I struggle at drinking water. And I preach to my challengers, I preach to everyone how good it is for you. And yet, I don't drink enough of it. And I know that for a fact. There are some days where I'll maybe get a bottle and a half in, and there are some days where I get like four of them in but I just struggle with consistency. And I have a little trick that I'm going to try, so I'm kind of excited about it, so um, here it is. I have a rubber band on my wrist, and I was actually, um, I had it on my wrist, and I don't know why, it was maybe even a ponytail holder, and my three-year-old son pulled it and it snapped, and I was like, oh, mother of God, that hurt! And he was kind of upset because he didn't know why, and I was like, oh my gosh, and then he did it again, and then, Throughout the day, he did it less and less, but he still did it. And I'm like, why do I still have this on? Why am I not taking it off? Duh. And so I thought, you know, I've seen the rubber band thing on the water bottle, but I think I'm going to give this a try. So I'm going to leave a rubber band on my wrist as a reminder. So when I see it, I'm going to take a drink of water. When he pulls on it, I'm going to go find my jug. And I'm going to have a couple rubber bands here on the bottom of my jug. And when I complete one of my jugs, I'm going to move it to the top. Now you can start at the top and move to the bottom or vice versa. And so by the end of the day, I'll be able to tell how many rubber bands I've been able to move up my jug. Now, let's say water's not your jam, you're freezing cold. I live in a climate that looks like Siberia right now. We have so much snow and I'm cold. I mean, it's like below zero. I don't want to drink ice water all the time. So one of the things that I found at our grocery store, which I love because I like things that taste like Christmas, is this gingerbread tea. And I am not a big tea drinker. Like I can't just pop in some green tea by itself because it tastes kind of like I just mowed the grass, all right? But this stuff maybe needs just a touch of molasses, but I can actually drink this without adding anything to it. Or just hot water, hot water with a little lemon in it. I've done that too, just to kind of hold the cup and pretend I'm sipping something good. But you guys, water is so key for keeping our skin hydrated. Like my fingers are so cracked up and dry because it's so cold, but I know that the more water I drink, the better it is for me. My systems are all going to work better because of it. When the brain tells us that we're thirsty, it's already too late. We are dehydrated by the time the brain gets the message. So our key is to never be thirsty. It sounds so simple and yet it's terrible. I can go to a happy hour and have several of my favorite libations, but if I had to have just a bunch of water, I wouldn't do it. So my challenge for you this new year, this cold day, is to drink some water. Let's figure out a way to make it work, all right? So maybe you're not into the rubber band thing. I'm gonna try it. Let me know if you're gonna try anything or if you have a favorite tea or something that helps you drink more water, all right? So catch me at Fit and Faithful with Renee and cheers to the rubber bands, right?